here's my next project and they are luggage rack holders whatever for guest luggage and I have two of these and they need a little bit of an update for to be used in my home for my guests so that's what's next good morning good morning it's early I'm in my PJs I just couldn't wait to start painting on this project. I showed it to you a second ago. It's a luggage rack for my guest rooms. And I'm about to put on the primer, which I will do in front of you for just a minute. And then I will, as usual, stop the camera and do it by myself. It's very boring. Okay, I've already put the blue tape around. I kind of liked, I, li I decided I sort of liked this ribbon here. I put the blue tape around it so that I won't get paint on the edges when I'm painting. I, don't, I can't take it off. I don't want to take it off. I'm afraid I'll really mess it up if I take it off. So I left it on, put tape around it to protect it. And I'm about to start. Uh, I think this is the first. Yeah, okay. Here we go. On a very precarious uh, situation here. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it up with the. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I don't know if I can do it without it falling. Hmm. Yeah, and I can't take it apart either. I can't, uh... <sighs> okay, this is gonna take uh, some problem solving. Some problem solving here. It's gonna take me a bit. I'm gonna figure out a way to do this. You better believe it. Okay, I put this little thingy here, taped it to hold this open. I can't stand anything not being painted, so that means I have to be able to paint underneath and all around without getting it on these strips. So this is my solution to this problem. This is how it's gonna go. I'm ready to get the primer on this. I, <laughs> I'll have to go through this again on the second one. But, and I'm not gonna do them together this time. I'm just gonna save that one for a day when I have nothing else to do. I, I need this more for one particular bedroom anyway. So this will solve the problem for one of my guest rooms. And I'm not going to, and there, there is a thread that I didn't cut off. I, I need to get it where I can cut it off. All right, enough of that. Got it primed base coated, figured out my little 
solution to get it painted that I won't, I will not describe. But now I'm just trying to figure out the design. And I think I'm gonna do little royal squares here, stripes on all the narrow edges. And on the sides, I'm gonna do a flower on either end, kind of like the flower on the little tape, and then have a leaf, little stem with leaves going down the side of the legs. I think what I'm gonna do. So now I just need to grid off the royal squares. And I think I'm just gonna treat each section separately and just do them here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. And I think they're gonna be like three quarter inch. Little royal squares. So I'll go and grid that. And then we'll come back and paint a little bit. It's actually Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Of course, this won't get aired for some months, but anyway. Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm just telling everybody, have a happy one. I'm having a great one. I'm getting to paint all day. Alrighty, let me go grid. The bedroom this is going in has the poppies, the poppy red, and this really bright green. And on Mar Martha Stewart's paint, it's called Scottish Highlands Green. That I'll do. And I haven't done red royal squares before, so this is new. And boy, this red paint, I don't want to mess up because I have a feeling, even though it's acrylic, <laughs> It's not going to come off of the white very easily if I make a mistake. I've got to go very carefully. Let's see. Steady my hand. I know you must think, don't you ever get tired of painting these royal squares? And the answer is no. <laughs> I quite, they're quite relaxing actually. these with a gel pen so the gel pen where where it doesn't get covered up by paint will come off with a q-tip Side. 
I actually have the turntable on a board and the board is on top of the other one of these Rolega tracks. I have to try to make do, get things at the proper height for me to paint. This doesn't look like Purina dog chair, does it? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll do something to stop it from looking that way. When I embellish. I think it looks like a bit of a mess right now. But we just have to wait and see. Now I'm going to do, I have to reach through and do the stripes on the sides. I mean, the, well. It's a good thing I, my things aren't laser. <laughs> Perfect. But that's not my style. Perfect is not my style. What's gonna help is getting the, the blue tape off. And now I'll reach over here. Okay. So I turn it around. And you can see what I've done over there. Now I've gotta do the same thing over here. the blue tape comes off and it's just the little red flowers in the green it's going to look better and I'm going to embellish it yes I am so that it doesn't look like Purina dog chow <laughs> yeah we don't want it to look like that okay now what am I going to do next I think I'm going to stop and mark off the stripes on the legs well, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> well, as Ricky Ricardo used to say, I got some splaining to do. I started recording my little uh, luggage stand, rack, whatever holder, recorded on the one I just finished. I got to a certain point and for some reason I quit recording. I just wasn't in the mood, I guess. So, I'm just explaining what I'm doing now. I'm actually going to talk a minute while I put on the rest of the base coat, um, which I don't normally film because it's so boring, but it gives me some time to explain. Um, anyway, I just wasn't in the mood. Sometimes that happens. So I'm going to actually, on my video, I'll pick, up, I'll pick up where I left off on the other one. And it turned out so dang cute. Uh, I will show it to you. This one's gonna be very similar, just different colors because I'm painting it for, I'm painting this for, I can't decide what to call the room. It's the unfinished part of my basement, which if you saw my video taking the tour of my house, I went in there for just a minute to show you 
the dream house and a little table I painted for my granddaughter that she's outgrown. You know, you paint things and then they get too, too old and sophisticated for them, so they come back to my house. <laughs> they come back to my house and I'll save them for, well, if when I croak, then they'll all fight over it, right? Ha ha. Um, anyway, for the room that I don't know what to call, originally it was a playroom. Now the kids have all gotten too big except I have one great grandchild, but he's so far away. I don't know if he'll ever get down here to play in what's now not a playroom. So, well, actually there's a few toys in there, but not like it used to be. I mean, it was a major, it was a major playroom because I do things in a major way. But anyhow, it's now become, I call it a teenage sleep room. Um, but you know, they're all growing up. Some of them aren't even teenagers anymore. So I may call it just the bunk room. <laughs> the bunk room where you can sleep and actually there's a TV in there and there's games in there. The original Nintendo game is in there and believe it or not, when the older grandkids come over, they sit down there and play that game forever. And it's the really old, not technologically new, <laughs> uh, game, uh, Nintendo, I think is what it's called. Uh, I never got rid of it, which I'm glad, because they love playing with it now, I think more than they did when I first had it, not honestly. So anyway, and then I thought I'd talk a minute about <laughs> my makeup. This is day two. I don't do my makeup every day, and I don't do much makeup anyway. I put on moisturizer and a little translucent powder sometimes. and some lipstick and I do my eye my eyebrows and newsflash I don't think I've talked about it on here but I have eyelashes I have eyelashes not my own and not the kind you glue on but the kind they put on individually it's the best thing I ever did the best thing I ever did. I don't have to worry about mascara. And I get up every morning and I can look in the mirror and go, you know what? I don't look half bad. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I have eyelashes. I guess the reason I'm being humble enough to tell you that is if you don't have them, go get them. They're the best thing you'll ever do. Um, seriously. I hated putting on mascara, and I hated it coming off on everything, and I honestly am one of those that don't take my makeup off every night. I know that's terrible, but I don't. I sleep in it because <laughs> my makeup lasts me two days, so why do I take it off when I've got, when I, I don't have to put it on the next day. I can freshen up a bit, but I don't have to start from scratch. Um, and now that I have lashes, um, I'm telling you my secrets. When I lived in New York on the Today Show, which I don't watch anymore, by the way, I just don't. But anyhow, on the Today Show, every once in a while, a makeup artist, her name is Bobby Brown, to come on and do a little makeup segment. And she made a comment that I have taken to heart and I live by it, literally. I, it's one of my life philosophies. <laughs> it's one of my life philosophies. Um, she said, 
if you have to go out and you don't have time to do but one thing, you will never guess what it is. One thing that you could do, she says, is your eyebrows. That's all you have time to do, do your eyebrows. And if you only have time to do two things, do your eyebrows and your lipstick. So I live by that, folks. As long as I have my eyebrows and my lipstick, I'm good to go. And honestly, for these videos, most of the time, that's it, folks. My eyebrows and my lipstick. I have to have those. Beyond that, it doesn't matter because you can't really see that much anyway. I hope I'm recording this. <laughs> Sometimes I look up and it's not recording, but it is. Um, so yeah, makeup advice. Eyebrows, lipstick, all that matters. Really and truly. Even for YouTube videos. I don't have a makeup artist. I don't have a wardrobe person. I don't have a film person. It's just me, folks, figuring this all out on my own. And now I think I'll shut up <laughs> and get to the part where I was on the other one, and then I'll start filming again. Okay.
You've been watching Karen Spain of Karen Spain Designs. I hope you've enjoyed this project and that you will subscribe and like and share. And as always, you can go down into the comment section and make a comment. Or if you need to contact me, my email is down below. If you press the little more, you can find all the information about this video and see my email. Again, thanks for watching.